What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. Welcome to the channel where you subscribe to get daily updates on Bitcoin. Have we topped out? What's the price level we need to break to confirm a bullish movement? Or are the bears actually gonna take control back here? We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna look at some price targets. So stick around. Don't forget there's a free Discord group link down below. Definitely check it out. It's an awesome community, guys. Totally free and let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. This is for educational purposes only. Disclaimer, scroll down to the bottom, make sure you read it. It is a new week. We are doing another Kobo Vault Generation 2 Hard Wallet giveaway. Not your keys, not your crypto. Um, all you got to do to enter to win is make sure you are subscribed to the channel and tick that notification bell to get you notified when I post videos hit that thumbs up button i can't stress that enough guys youtube is not helping out bitcoin channels at all but the more you can hit the thumbs up take a second out hit the thumbs up that helps the channel out also leave your comment down below that'll get you entered to win i'll be picking a random comment from a random video throughout the week and we'll be doing that on sunday let's take a look at the news headlines get a feel for the sentiment uh, Canadian weatherman Frankie McDonald is bullish on Bitcoin. I don't know if you guys have checked out his Twitter. Check it out. It's pretty funny. Um, capital flight out of Asia is taking Bitcoin Express, says Max Kaiser. Uh, we all know Max Kaiser is a Super Bowl. Uh, with all eyes on Bitcoin, <clears throat> another crypto is up 500% in the last year and is still soaring. We all know what that is. If you don't, pretty sure they're talking about Link, but I do believe... That's coming to an end, but I could be wrong, but um, this just reminds me of the end of 2017 and then the beginning of 2018 when everybody was still extremely bullish, talking about um, small projects that were pumping and most of them are gone now. I do believe the same thing will happen again. Um, you guys know how I feel about these projects. Trading them is one thing. You can make a lot of money trading them, but to invest in them and hold your money in them. I think you will ride that to nothing. But anyways, that is my opinion, not yours. It does not have to be yours. The mounting evidence of a new Bitcoin bull market. Um, bullish. Another day in crypto warns Binance CO. We've already read these. Uh, Bitcoin and Ripple's XRP weekly technical analysis. Uh, overcoming credibility hump. So bullish news, obviously. Everything is super bullish. Um we dropped one point from yesterday, extreme greed, still at 78. And as you guys know, we have closed this gap up here. We still have a gap down at 96.70. Um, people are saying that doesn't have to fill, which the right it doesn't have to. But the past has taught us that they usually fill. We also have a smaller one down here around the 7,600. And then we have one all the way down to the 35.70. Does that have to happen? Absolutely not. Just be aware that they are there. Um, yeah, this last gap that we closed was the 11,795. That was from way back in August of 2019. Look how long it took to fill. So, you know, we could we could actually get the move up that everybody's waiting for here. But we are still making um, lower highs in, in the macro. We have our 20,000, 14,000, and now um, 12,000. So we're still lower highs in the macro. This does look like bearish divergence in the uh, monthly chart. Higher highs in the price, lower highs in the RSI. I'm still holding to the bearish side of things, guys. I know a lot of people don't get that. A lot of people are so bullish and emotional. It's going to keep going up just because they want to see their portfolio grow. Guys, I'm a hodler. I want to see it go up too. Trust me. Um, I would love to see it just continue straight up. I just am not convinced yet. Um, as you can see, we do have bullish targets and we will take a look at them. Um, we have this falling broadening wedge here, which we broke out of here, which would get us up around the $16,000 range. That is the measured move. We look at the bigger triangle here, um, symmetrical triangle, wedge, whatever you want to call it. From the breakout here, that gets us to 27000 um, those look like great bullish targets. You know, I, it's exciting, especially if you're a hodler. Um, and if you are trading, 
I suggest you do have a huddle position. That way it will keep you from FOMOing as much and getting scared and crazy. Um, just my suggestion. We also have this yellow dotted trend line, and I have that throughout the charts all the way down to the four hour. And as you can see, we did break out of it here. And if we were to come back down and test it on the weekly, this is the weekly, guys. We'll go into the smaller ones, but it's about around 11,250. Um, one bullish thing suggesting another leg up, and we've been keeping an eye on this, is the weekly RSI. As you can see, we have our Resistance line up top, support on the bottom. We had a touch here, a touch here, a touch here, a touch here, and we could come up and test this. Now, keep in mind in the weekly, we could shoot up high, we could shoot up all the way to that fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars, and still close below this and continue down. So keep keep that in mind. But a weekly close at any point above this trend line is going to be bullish. Um, this is just another way to look at the chart that people aren't guys. There is some extreme volatility coming and if you are trading, there is going to be some life-changing trades coming up. We Obviously, we had a nice dip today. But this is a possible count, guys. Unless we break this 12,139 area, that will invalidate this count. But this could be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave. Two, 3 getting us all the way down to about 9,500. Bounce back to about 9,320. And then back down to 8,700. And the scary thing is, this could be the A, and we could have a B up, and then a C down. So um, we have been looking at lower targets. We'll take a look at those if that's possible. But again, a break of 12,139 will invalidate this count, and then we have to look at things a different way. And this is just a possibility. Um, it's still bullish, even this this was to happen, and we were go, to go all the way back down to that 69 range. That would be, that would be super bullish, in my opinion. Um, if you guys are interested in trading, I'll leave a Prime XPT tutorial up top. Definitely check it out. Um, it's an awesome exchange. They have, if, if you don't have multiple monitors, they have, you know, you can set it up with multiple screens and put different time frames or different assets, whatever you're doing, however you're trading. Um, you can trade Bitcoin, EOS, Ethereum, LTC, XRP, uh, Forex. They have a lot of Forex pairs in here, Dow Jones oil um pretty much anything nasdaq s p dow everything with just using our bitcoin as collateral as you can see right now we are getting resistance at the 55 ema on the hourly chart at about 11,750. anyways let's get into it um if you use my promo code savvy 50 that'll get you 50 percent on top of whatever you deposit up to one bitcoin that you can use towards your margin savvy 25 will get you 25 percent off of your fees so yeah check it out if you haven't already it's a great exchange guys they don't trade against you like uh bybit and all the other ones so all right let's uh take a look here we've been talking about this bearish engulfing candle right here that is textbook guys and usually a bearish engulfing candle, you can expect to drop below the bottom of it. And as of right here, it's around 10,535. Now, again, that is invalidated if we cross this 10,139. So beware. But I still think we're most likely going to come down and at least test this bottom trend line down here um, around the 10,200, somewhere in there. But I believe we get down that far and we're closing that 9,700 gap. But anyways, let's get into it again. Oversold in the RSI, a lot of people talk about that. In the bullish case scenario, you can see where it was oversold here. Price went sideways, RSI reset, had another jump up. Um, continued on, did the same thing a few times, just quick through that. I did a little bit more on that in a couple days ago video, but just to point that out. Now if we look here, look at this as a rising wedge. Um, a breakdown from there could get us all the way to look at that the $3,500 range and I'm not saying it's gonna happen guys But we definitely need to be aware of that. Um, we also have our target at 69 and another one at 54 or 55 um, Another way to support the channel anchorimage.com. That is my wife's web page I'll leave a link down below um, in the description and in the comments check them out I got a lot of good links in there guys, and it's only stuff I use I'm not just putting a bunch of exchange links or a bunch of whatever it's actually things I use. So check it out. There's some hard wallet stuff down there and everything. 
But you can put anything you want on any of this stuff. Hit her up in the contact and she'll take care of it. All right, let's take a look here now at the daily in a different way. If this was our top over here at 11,139, we can put the Fibonacci retracements in here from the swing low to the swing high. Let's take a look at something else real quick. On the, uh, well, we'll take a look at the RSI in a second. Let's take a look at where we're at. Obviously, we could have major support around 10,550, and a break of that could be extremely ugly. Now, if we take a measured move off of this triangle here, put it up to where we broke out, we topped out perfectly there. That's another thing confluent with, I do believe it's possible we have popped or topped out here. So be cautious, guys. We could come back down and test this long term trend line that is off of these wicks here that we have been watching. And that trend line, as of now, on the daily lies around 11,300. So keep an eye on that. Of course, if we break the 12,139, then all this is invalidated. But remember, we could have some major resistance here. Look at this as a rising wedge that we popped out of, rising broadening wedge. And we have came back, almost tested it here. If we did come up and test that area within the next day or two, where would that be? Uh, I will put a price label on it. Somewhere around 12,800, 12,700, somewhere in there. Um, so if we break that 1239, look for resistance around that area. We'll take a look at some more targets too, but I do want to take a look at the Fibonacci retracements. If this is the top, um, obviously we just talked about these possible supports up here. If those break, our next line of defense support is 0.236 at 10,187. And then around 89.50, we have our 0.382 Fib if that wasn't to hold. 79.83, which is our 0.5 fib, and then our golden pocket zone around the 6900. Um, if that was not to hold, 5600, and if that breaks 3560 area, which would close that gap down there. Again, this doesn't have to happen. I'm showing you prices to watch, guys. Again, 12,139. If we break that, could be coming up to retest this trend line. Let's look at the RSI and the daily. If we do, if we take a look at this RSI, what it's doing here, we are making bearish divergence, guys. Um, yeah, it is. It's looking topped out here. All right, four hour. We talked about this quite a bit. Let's talk about it some more. Looking at this as a possible inverse head and shoulders that everybody has been talking about, a measured move of that could get us as high as seventeen thousand two hundred dollar range which could retest the top of this trend line here. But again, I'd be looking for resistance at this pink trend line about, I guess it'd be about 12,650 12, to 12,900, depending on where and how long it took to hit, if we can even break the, the high that we're at now. Um, obviously, we did not break our high from last week which was 12,139 so we need to break that to even talk about these higher targets otherwise i believe we continue down from here um, keep a close eye on that 10,500 if that breaks like i said 10,185 would be our next line of defense uh, that could come slowly all the way over into here to retest this bottom trend line but say let's say we came down in the next day or two to come retest this trend line it's around the 94 to 9500. A break of that obviously would bring us down to these lower targets. Did I have a different view? I have a different view of the four hour RSI here. Looking at this rising channel, we are within a falling channel. Um, not too sure about these trend lines right now. It does look like we might be coming down to retest this. If we have a break of this trend line right here on the four hour, that will. Be a significant move down so keep an eye on that uh if you were in the discord we were talking about this yesterday we were getting major resistance on the bottom of this channel and when it broke you can see what happened but today we broke right back down through it and we take a look we're below all the emas we are getting rejected at the 55 ema on the hourly which is 11,750. um if that was the break next Resistance is around 11,850 range, which would be retesting the bottom of this channel again. 
um, if we were to get up there and get rejected. We had this target yesterday, um, 11,344. What did we hit today? 11,469. So if we move this over a little bit onto this dotted trend line, 11,400 area would be testing the bottom of that. Now we're gonna take a look at the measured moves. We're gonna take a look at the bearish and bullish case scenario. If we are able to break above that 11,850 to 11,875 range, um, we could be looking at retesting the top of this channel, depending on where it would hit, uh, 12,400 to you know 12,900. If that was to break, we could be going as high as uh 13,130 range and then the highest i would see us go is retest the top of this yellow dotted line which is 13.3 um let's take a look at the bearish case uh, which i am more apt to believe is going to happen if we look at the rsi here on the one hour two we got more room to come down um we could come down to this 11.4 range if that breaks obviously you know we come down much further Let's take a look at the bearish case. All right. So in the bearish case, if we we obviously broke down here, so we could be coming down to. We're gonna move this up, guys, to where that lines up with. That's around the eleven two to eleven three. Right in that range. All right. Next measured move, if we look at this bottom yellow trend line of the, the bigger rising wedge, but we use the top line of the channel, take a measured move of that, that also looks like a rising broadening wedge, and a breakdown of that could get us around the eleventh or $10,300 range. That would be breaking the $10,500 range. Um, depending on where that was to break, if it, if it rode way over here, you know, that would change everything. But... Again, guys, it it matters where and when we break this stuff, but it's looking it's looking like we topped out, man. Um, I don't know, I could be wrong. Watch that twelve thousand one hundred thirty nine. But anyways, now let's take a look at the bigger move here. If we looked at this whole thing as a rising broadening wedge and a breakdown from there, would be breaking that eleven thousand three hundred eleven thousand four hundred range. Would get us down to. Around the 9,500. And again, guys, that doesn't mean it's an instant drop, but we could come back down, retest this trend line here. That would be closing the gap. Still looking for us to go down into those areas. And we also have this trend line here, the yellow solid trend line. If we use the top of the rising broadening wedge on that one and do a measured move, if we were to break down, Gets us all the way around the eighty-seven to eighty-eight hundred dollar range. Be cautious. Be careful. Um, yeah, a lot of crazy stuff going on in the charts. I think we're gonna have huge volatility, guys. Be careful out there. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the crypto savvy logo above my head. Smash that thumbs up button. Help the YouTube algorithm. Share the video if you would. If you belong to any groups and. I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to leave your comment down below to get you entered to win the Cobo Vault Generation 2 Hard Wallet. Later.